Brandon says selfies can be deceiving. Brandon, what is going on? Well, Jerry, <clears throat> um, I was talking to this girl for about three months, and, you know, we started sexting. Oh, and you mean on the Internet? Yes, sir. You hadn't oh, met Facebook. her in person? No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, I never okay. in person until the day I went to pick her up from the bus stop outside the airport. Um, upon arriving, she was like, hey, I'm here, you know, and I look, and I was, I was baffled. She was like a 300 plus pound beached beluga whale. Oh. <laughs> well, well, number one, obviously you shouldn't be making those kind of comments, but you, I assume when you were talking to her, she was sending pictures. Only of certain body parts. And uh, her Facebook pictures, that's what it was. Like, I was going off of her Facebook photos. Yeah. You know, and that's when I was like, okay, well, you know, let's meet up. You know, let's see yeah. where this thing goes. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, uh, but you must know that when people on Facebook, they're often not sending you or telling you the truth or yeah. sending you the accurate pictures or even pictures of themselves. Was this... Are these the pictures of her? Because the pictures we're looking at. Uh, she's yes, an attractive sir. That's young lady. Her. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I mean, she was <clears throat> supermodel gorgeous in her Facebook photos. And honestly, filters do a lot for girls. <laughs> All right. So basically, so you went to the bus stop. Yes, you sir. You see her. What did you say to her? I cut tail and ran. Oh. <laughs> so you never talked to her? Nope. I seen her, and I was like, nope. Oh. I kept on driving. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, now, did you, <clears throat> did you ever hear from her again? Yeah, she st uh, started, <clears throat> you know, stalking me at Like, work. where were you? Why weren't you there? Yeah, you know, and calling me nonstop. Did you send her, did you send her back the bus fare? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so, why are you here? Um... Well, uh, it was also because I was going to break up with my girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. I left her for three, three or four days when she was eight months pregnant. And I came back with a hickey on my neck. Well, you know, I tried to change. You know, I felt really, really crappy about it. Sure. And, you know, I was like, you know, <clears throat> my grandmother didn't raise some hoodlum like that, yeah. you know. So you felt badly about yes, how sir. you were Yes, sir. I beheaded. felt really bad. Well, yeah. after she had the baby, she did a complete 180 of her attitude. I'm talking every day she was on me for about something. It was either I wasn't doing something right for her or, you know, you never take me out and do nice things. Or you... Is that uh, true? To be honest, Jerry, I'm always broke. <laughs> I work, though. You have a job. Yes, sir. Yeah. I work 40 plus hours a week. I yeah. bust my tail day in and day yeah. out at work. And, you know, we also work together. She's my manager. So it's also a lot uh. stressful. <clears throat> well, ask her for a raise. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's just, <clears throat> it got to the point of where, you know, she was calling me a piece of crap dad and stuff oh. like that. We also have a two month old well, yeah. right now. You know, plus I have... Are you being a good... Oh. Are you being a good dad? Yes, sir. I love both my kids very much. Okay. Uh, so you're here basically to tell your girlfriend you want to leave her? Yes, sir. And, and to tell, tell the other girl to leave me the hell alone. All right. Well, first, you go, who's Danae? That is my uh, said girlfriend. Oh, that's your girlfriend? Yes, sir. Well, she now knows what you did because she's backstage watching. Here she is. Here's Danae. together and that was left-handed we have a family together and you're willing to throw it away for some fat whore I can't stand when you're always on my ass about stupid you're all the time up about and I'm tired of it you're all the time you don't do this for me oh you don't rub my 
black enough. I'm sorry. I work four hours a week, and you want to go off and just do all this? Those 40 hours a week that you work, you would work them if it wasn't for me. I got you your off. Okay. I put a roof over your head. Don't use the F word. I do everything for you. I know. You were nothing before me. Nothing. Well, I'm obviously nothing to you now. No, you're a piece to me now is what you are. <clears throat> I love him with everything in me. He's the father to my child. How could yeah. I not? Am I not a good dad? You are a good dad, but you're just not a good boyfriend. Well, what can you do Sorry. to fix that? I honestly don't know. As, I mean, if she would stop with all the persistent nagging and complaining and other stuff like that, maybe. You know, but this day in, day out stuff where I'm always working and working with you, I'm stressed all the time because, I mean, you're barking orders at me at work and then I go home to hear the same thing and then you bring work home with you. Work stays at work. What we do at work stays there. That's why I get so frustrated with you, is because you bring work home. Wait, what kind of job? You don't have to tell me the company, but what kind of job do you do? I'm a shift manager, a server. A server, I see. Okay, at a restaurant, yeah. All right. So this is the first you heard of what he was trying to yes, do Jerry. to meet someone else. Do you, do you see him a lot on the computer, going on Facebook? I'm always at work, Jerry. Oh, so you don't know that he... No. Are you constantly I contacting other women on, on the internet? This was the first for me. Oh, after the little spell with the three day period. Yeah. It may be the first, but it's the last because I'm done with you. <laughs> well, here's the other woman. Here's Brooke. Your friend and I care about you. I want to be with you. Uh, no. No. You're supposed to be my friend, and you oh. tried to f my baby daddy? I don't care. It's not my problem. I'm single. Wait, you two know each other? Yeah, we were friends. So you were contacting her on the internet even though you knew her. So you guys must have met each other before. We've actually never met. Oh. I bought a bus ticket. You told me you were going to leave her. I spent $63 on a bus ticket. Oh. Stood me up. Yeah. So, I but mean, you, oh, so you did tell her you were leaving her. Yeah, yeah we've been sexting for three months. <laughs> told me he was in love with me. He did not want to be with her. Well, that... It changes the story a little bit. If, if you were leading her on, this isn't like, well, you guys were just talking, let's meet. But if you're telling her you're going to leave your girlfriend, the mother of your child, you love her, and all this, well, of course she's going to think there's some chance there if she has feelings for you. Yeah. And then you show up at the bus stop. Did you see him or you never saw him? No, he, he, never got he out just of the stood car. me up. I waited there for. Three hours, he sent me up, it started raining, I was crying. I tried to text him and call him. That's your own fault. You shouldn't have tried to sleep with my baby daddy, my yeah. boyfriend. That's so you got point. what he you deserve. He was in love with me. He said that obviously you were a bitch not. to him. Well, he don't love you no more, obviously, because he don't want to be with you. And I don't blame him, because you're nasty. Okay, well, that's not my fault. I mean, he was sexing me, so obviously he wanted all this. Now, he was just looking for a quick piece of... Uh, Pictures lie. Whenever I first seen you, I seen those pictures on Facebook, you look like a supermodel. And then when I get to the bus stop, you look like a whale. So what am I supposed to do? I thought you were gorgeous on the inside and outside, and then I seen you in person, and I was like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so you're gonna me just because I look a little different? That's not my fault. You were sending me sexting pictures and you were sending me nudes. I was willing to overlook the fact you have a small penis. It was small. Oh.
Elephantitis no, does a lot. Yeah. Well, the stuff they leave off these cards, I had no idea. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. That wasn't worth it, was it? Uh, okay. So, what's going to happen? Obviously, this is not a relationship. You, you don't want to be with him anyway. Hell no. No. And you don't want to... Well, you've said that. So, now, what's going to happen here? You want... you? Oh, you don't want to be with him? I want to explore different options. I just want to be... I want well, to be the single options, for apparently, after the last statement, are going to be fewer. <laughs> okay. Uh, seriously, you guys have a child together. The jokes aside, you don't love her anymore. You, you, no. You're willing to have a split family, your child grow up with dad not there. I'll be there for my kid, but I ain't gonna be there for somebody who's always constantly nagging me. You're not gonna find nobody that'll take your <laughs> I do. Because I put up with a lot, and I guarantee you, no other woman is gonna put up with it. They're gonna cut tail and run as soon as you mess up the first time. Just like I should have done a long time ago. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.